Hello and welcome to SeaWave.info, the central information hub about SeaWave Smart Home. Today I'd like to introduce the SeaWeather product. It's not only the very first wind sensor on the market, but it pioneers the battery-free technology for SeaWave 2. It neither needs external power nor a battery. It's powered by solar energy only. A little solar panel is charging a small capacity to power the device as well at night. Hence, no batteries are needed at all. Internal battery management makes sure that the capacity is never fully discharged but keeps enough energy for emergency actions in case of heavy wind. The sea weather comes with four pedals and all needed screws to assemble and mount it. That is why your first step is to assemble the unit and to power it by placing it into direct sunlight for about 4 to 6 hours. This is the initial power up. On cloudy days this process may take up to 12 hours. You can check the power status by clicking on the little button on the back side. When enough power is available the small red LED will light up shortly. is a combining several environmental related sensor. All the sensor values can be reported as central C-Wave controller. The following values are available. Air temperature. Here is a short notice. The sensor is located inside the round black element. There is no need to place the sensor into direct sunlight because this may heat up the black enclosure causing a wrong temperature value. Also, outside direct sunlight there is enough energy harvested to operate the device. The solar panel also measures the ambient light. The relative humidity is measured as well. And of course the wind speed. Additionally the air pressure and the dew point. The device furthermore estimated the solar and the wind energy to be harvested on the position the sensor is mounted. The total solar energy is measured in kilowatt hours but refers to a standard one square meter panel positioned at the place of the sensor. The wind energy is counted in total number of rotations. However, the measure's energy count only used ever eight rotations of the windmill. Assembly guidelines are included in the scope of delivery. The device should be mounted with four screws in the wall of the house or garage. Thanks to the solar power, there is no further cabling needed. The wireless range of C-Wave is the only limited factor. Internal energy management makes sure that there is always enough energy for the essential operations. The energy management will change the wake-up time on demand, the time where the device will transmit the other sensor values such as temperature etc. to the central controller. The wake-up interval can change between 5 minutes and 1 to 2 hours. On a morning of a long night in winter time, it may even reach 5 hours as an extreme. The button operation will be deactivated as soon as the energy level falls below 30%. This simple example shows how to add the sea weather to a Raspberry operated C Wave network. You started the inclusion process on the browser interface via network control. Once the controller is in inclusion mode, the little button is pushed three times within 1.5 seconds. The browser interface of the controller will indicate when the inclusion of the new device was successful. The elements view of the user interface now shows all sensor values as individual element. Meter electric shows the index value of the solar energy. The second meter electric is the pulse count. Also you find the air temperature, luminosity, relative humidity, air speed, air pressure and dew point. The same sensor values can also be found in the expert UI. Here it is possible to configure the device and set associations. 
For this, the device has four association groups. Group number one is the so-called lifeline and report all status variables. That why the node ID of the gateway should be preset here. Association group 2 will be switched when the wind speed gets too high. The standard value here is 6 meter per second. Devices set in association group 3 can be switched at morning dawn and group 4 devices can be switched when it gets too dark. In general, switches, jalousies and venation blind can be opened and closed depending on the outside light or at too high wind. This is among others as requires features for Onyx. Another application might be to turn on and off the outside light in the garden or at the door during night time. This closes our video presentation of the first solar operated C-Wave device of the world.